Previously on Greasy Hammer's factory. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use magma to cool this metal refinery. And we've got here a sour gas boiler design using a tower. There we go, we got our first refining happening. All right, and it's dumping it into the hot tank. One pool of water and it's being properly cooled by this water loop. And we've produced quite a bit of refined material. Welcome aboard, Max. Finally, our 11th dupe. So our farm is done, 96 tiles. And this is all bricked up. All right, boys, come on, let's wrangle them up. I'm gonna dig all this out. Holy crap, that took a while. Cycle 490. Yeah, that should do it. All right, so the top section is finally completed. So over here, we're gonna set up an aqua tuner. We're gonna hook this up. Just gotta finish this gas pipe. There we go, all done up here. Let's see if we got enough steel for generators. There we are. Hello everybody, once again this is G, and welcome back to the factory. It's been a while, but we're back, and in this episode we're going to be making our way into space on this particular planetoid. And the reason being is there is nothing else to research without space technology, so we're going to need to do that. And so I want to show you, before we get to that, I want to show you a couple of things that I've done so far over here. We've got a little desal going on, but it's running off of this puny wire, and I want to show you something here. So you've probably seen these type of contraptions before, but this is my little variation on that, where you have, you got one kilowatt wire coming in, but it already has some load on it. You can see here, it's got like a pump, it's got some of these thermoregulators, some of these things here, and more importantly, over here, it's got a large transformer. So you can actually put up to four kilowatts, but this wire is not overcommitted. And so it's never gonna overload just by the load that is sitting directly on this side of the wire. But what we're interested in is how can we get more out of the same wire without changing anything else really back there? And so what we do is we put a little charger and a little bit of an extension here, essentially. We've got this simple mechanism over here. I'll show you some automation. Just a little timer. And it charges for one second and then it runs for five seconds. You can adjust this if you want, but this works fine for one kilowatt. And you just got two power switches and one simple nut key. So there's no need for any smart batteries or any refined materials except, you know, for the automation wire. That's about it. And so if we look at the power circuit again, again, when this is off, this is on and it's providing power and vice versa. When this is on, the other one is off and it's charging. And you've probably seen similar versions before, but again, this is my uh, little variation on this. And you can actually do a little bit more because our power transformer is uh, kind of a basic battery in itself. It just has very little charge, but maybe I'll do that in a separate video. But anyways, Essentially, this gives us an extra 720 watts of capacity on the same wire without overloading anything and without going too egregious because you could overload this way more, but I'm not doing that. And here we just got a desal and a pump and it just needs to be emptied out. Okay, well, we can increase priority of that. Somebody come empty it out and it just dumps it right on top here for the time being but we'll deal with this later. Anyways, what I'm thinking we need to do here is begin digging our way out into space. We can't even see space yet, so we can just begin by digging upward and see what's there. We're gonna put a little airflow tile over here, so that's gonna prevent all the rock from falling all the way down to the bottom. And then they can just pick up the granite they dig out to build more ladder. All right, let's keep going. I wonder when we're going to get up to space. The suspense is killing me. Let's have a look up here. Holy moly. Okay, here we go. Finally. We're getting there. Let's check out a few things here. Let's see. Uh, it's pretty cold up here. And 
radiation is only at the very highest level, so we're pretty safe down here. Really nothing up here except a lot of copper, which is going to come very useful because we're pretty short on refined metals. Okay, we're going to go ahead and hollow out a lot of this copper and not going to touch a whole lot of the other rock for now because it can store a lot more heat if it's not mined. Because if you mine, it's going to be half the mass, so it can absorb half the amount of heat. And we can use this kind of for cooling. Not that we need that, because if we look down here, let me show you. All the cooling problems have been resolved around here. Yeah. And mostly it's done by this one aqua tuner over here which is used mainly for cooling this area from becoming overheated. So it's kept at a nice controlled temperature. But anyways, if we need extra cooling, we got plenty of it up here. Meanwhile, the digging is commencing. I mean, this is a real team effort going on here. Just look at them go. All right, let's go ahead and let them finish this up. Yeah, the oxygen is definitely not included up in this area, but it's slowly making its way up through here. And it's a bit of a struggle, but that's all right. That's just how things are at the factory. All right, we should have plenty of copper ore now. All right, let's see what's printing over here. Oh yeah, got some iron. I don't think we need any extra dupes right now, so we'll just get this for now. Yeah, we got 15 dupes. That's quite a bit for the time being. We got food, it's essentially an autopilot. And oxygen is on autopilot. And our power plant here is running smoothly. We got all the gas generators here. I'll show you something. Pretty hot over here so and then what we're doing is we are cooling the co2 that's coming out and then it gets dumped into this area over here but what i want to do is all the co2 that's down here on this side you see it's accumulating quite a bit i want to remove it and dump it into this area over here and actually use some of this co2 to cool the output that's going into here so that it's cooler when it's on this side. So what we should do, we should go ahead and dig this here. Let's get in there. Go ahead and prioritize that. All right, there we go. Finally got access to this area here. If you recall, previously we accessed it from this side. That's why I already had some constructions done in it. But then we sealed it off when this was built up. And now we have access to it again. And these pipes, I've locked these doors. So let's go ahead and actually allow the dupes in. That should do it. And we should probably prioritize all that good stuff as well. So what we're going to end up having over here is going to be a little gas filter using kind of this um, valve method, which is pretty well known that I like to use. I'm just got to set it to one gram. In fact, 0.1 gram. Let's go ahead and set that. Now there's only one little caveat <laughs> over here. And the problem is we've got this big fat wire and we can't really get it out here without breaking the vacuum seal because that will be a disaster. So there's a couple of ways to do this. We can either get a wire down this way, or we can try and get a wire maybe somehow over here. And let's have a look over here. This is pretty busy. Not particularly. And this guy. Okay, it's this one is busy. So adding more to this wire probably is no point. So we might as well connect this wire over here. So let's go ahead and do that. And we actually don't need conductive wire because 
This is just one kilowatt. You see, we've got regular wire up here connecting to it, so that's fine. Well, that ought to do it. I want to try to avoid disrupting these plants over here. And we can't dig underneath because all the sand will collapse, so we'll just leave it alone. All right, now this is set to 0.1 gram. The most important thing is the first thing that this vent needs to capture is CO2 and not natural gas or something like that. We could even take this natural gas and pump it into generators, but there's no point right now. It's just going to overcomplicate this vent. So you see what we're going to do here actually is two things. First of all, this is pretty warm over here, 37 degrees. And over here we have a cooler to chill the turbine. It's this thermal aqua tuner and it also provide heat down here to overheat the steam. And so it's going to have two functions. First of all, this gas that comes through here is going to get cooled and then only the CO2 is going to continue. And we have this well insulated ceramic pipe over here so it doesn't interact too much with the soil. Anyways, the remaining gas, like oxygen, natural gas, whatever, is going to turn around and come out here, but it will be already cooled by this aqua tuner. So it's actually going to also cool this area over here. So yeah, let's go ahead and finish this up. All right, there we go. We're just going to set this to detect CO2. And yeah, let's see. There we go. All right, so CO2 is coming in and it should get stuck in this little loop, 0.1 grams. And then it's coming in at about 36 degrees and it's going out at about 32. So it's being cooled over here by this very basic setup. Actually, it's not being cooled very well. You know what? Let's replace this with a steel pipe. But at any rate, when it comes in and it mixes with this hot gas, it comes out about 69, so you get about 34 coming in here, 168 mixes, you get about 69, goes through here, it gets cooled a little bit more by this very basic cooler, uh, comes out about 60. Yeah. There we go. And now it's not detecting CO2 anymore, so it stopped. Now we could remove this and let it run all the time. And what that's going to do is just going to cool this area. And I'm thinking you might as well just do that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get rid of this. Or we're going to add a little switch here. Just a little manual override. Like that. There we go. Let's have a look. Yeah, we got about coming about 36, coming out about 26. So now we should be cooling it. Yeah. You can see it's cooling it over here now. And at the same time, it's going to take the heat that's out here and it's going to add it to this area over here. So that's going to increase this turbine's efficiency a little bit. All right, that should do it. Let's see what's printing over here. Let's see, let's see. Oh, that's pretty nice. We'll take this oxyfern. That's fine for now. And actually, we've got these oxyferns over here that are not running. I don't want to get that sorted out. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to just get rid of this bypass over here, cut this pipe for now, and then what we're going to do is hook up this water here. Actually, we're going to put this pipe back. Let's see, we're going to do something a little bit different here. I'm just going to put a valve, got lots of copper ore, and that's going to control how much water is going to come in to feed these, because they only need very little. So that should be about 67 grams per second. So we're going to go here, 67 grams. And this water is fairly hot, so we don't want to be doing that. There we go. 
and it should be good. And again, this is strictly temp, but it'll work for now. And what I want to do is actually set up an oxyfern farm somewhere at the bottom. I haven't decided where. I'm thinking maybe over here somewhere. So what we're going to do right now is deal with this annoying natural gas because it's preventing these plants from growing properly. And over here, we're just going to put a little regular gas filter. And we're just going to tie it into this gas intake. Now you can see it's going in this direction and we're going to reverse that. And some folks are suffocating, but that's okay. Not a huge deal. Yeah, we'll temporarily reverse it until we use up all this natural gas and then we can put it back. And then what I want to do is sort out this little problem over here. You see we have this natural gas pipe that goes to our gas cooker. And it's still got plenty in the pipe, but eventually it's going to run out. And there's really no convenient way to route this pipe this way. So we're going to route this pipe the other way. And then we'll use a piece of this pipe afterward. And if we can use this turbine with this aqua tuner to actually cool this natural gas as it comes out. So it doesn't heat everything all around. Anyways, let's get this sorted out. So first thing we do is we're just going to cut this pipe here for now. And we're going to set this to natural gas. I'm going to turn this on manually. Let's have a look. There we go. Perfect. And it's going to feed not all the generators, but some of the generators. We'll keep it going till it's entirely exhausted. And it's also going to create low pressure in here, which is going to draw in more CO2 this way, which is what we want. Now, I reconnected this gas pipe over here because this natural gas up here is dwindling. But what we're going to do is connect the pipe for the gas range. And we're going to do it this way, I think. But what we're going to do is very carefully position some bunker tiles here. Start with just this one. And we should be able to maneuver this without having a flood because there's water under pressure. We're going to go ahead and reshuffle this CO2 pipe just to make it easier to get this natural gas feed. And then over here, steel tile, someone, please. 39. All right, things are happening. There we go. Let's go ahead and build another one. And then over here, we can actually dig out this tile. And then we're going to put another pipe. Matter of fact, we probably don't even need any more bunker tiles. So we'll just leave that one. Yep, this should be reachable. And then any gas coming from over there. We're going to have it cooled um, first by this turbine. That should be fine. And then it could also be cooled in this water if we need to. But I don't think that's necessary. Yeah, this should go something like this. And then up here. There we go. Yep. Now as for the cooling, yeah. So we're gonna have to, hmm. Here's what I'm thinking. What we're gonna do is we're gonna split this pipe. Like that. And so natural gas is gonna get most of the cooling, and then CO2 only needs just a little bit of cooling. In fact, it probably doesn't even need any cooling. So, yeah. There we go. That should do it. All right, that should be done. All right, let's see now. Okay, that's going. There is really no natural gas yet. Okay, there's a little bit. And it's going that way. And what we want to do 
Let's change that up. We don't want it to be going up that way. So we're going to get rid of this. Yeah. And... There we go. Alright, that's done. Let's have a look. Okay, it's coming in pretty hot. And it's leaving at a nice cozy 20 degrees or so. And that's going to give the Sacquatuner something to do. Alright. And then if there's any extra natural gas that's captured here, it's going to have a priority coming from this filter. Nice. Okay. And then we're just going to use up the remainder of this at some point. Cool. Everything's working. Okay, we're gonna circle back to Oxyfern Farm. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna put it on this side or on the other side yet. We'll see. But anyways, we got our natural gas, we got our CO2 all sorted out. Let's see what's printing over here. Let's see, let's see. Okay, oh wow, nice, another one. We're gonna need that. We're gonna have a whole farm of these. Barbecue. Sorry, barbecue. Alright. Alright, so back to space. We've got all sorts of mix of everything here. We've got polluted oxygen, we've got hydrogen, all sorts of what a mess. Anyways, we're gonna need to get some bunker tiles, we're gonna need some suits. A whole thing is situated here. So let's get started. Oh yeah, let's fix that. I got rid of this and I moved this block over here. Because we're going to dig this, things are going to fall. I don't want them to fall all the way down. Let's figure out our little oxygen and suit station. Come to think of it, we got a little problem over here. There's a lot of radiation coming from space. So we're actually going to need some lead suits. And uh, it just happens to be that we have no lead. So we're going to have to go get some first. First, let's go ahead and get this situated here. I think we can do that. All right, that should do it. We're just going to get the oxygen pipe in here. All right, that should do it. All right, we're going to set that to oxygen. Being a little bit lazy, we could technically set up a little valve filter, but frankly speaking, we've got so much power right now that <laughs> it doesn't matter. And now, let's see, we're going to get this remaining stuff dumped somewhere. We're just going to dump it back here somewhere. Like that. And then hydrogen's going to get stuck up here. Let me check to see what's going on with the power. Appears to be no power over here, which is... Gonna be fixed. There we go. And let's see to make sure we're not overloading. Ugh, that's not good. Potential load is over a thousand. So we're gonna have to take something off. Well, let's take this thing off for now. Because I don't wanna burn out the wire. It's not being limited by a transformer. Okay. That should do it. All right, well, that's happening. Let's check our D-cell over here. Is it working? Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. And it's still using our little contraption over here to overcommit this wire. Just a little extension. All right, this is pumping. Okay, we're getting a little bit of oxygen. There's going to be more oxygen here once we get all this junk out of here. And frankly, what I want to do with this polluted oxygen is get some... Um, we've got a little bit of power left on this wire, so what we can do is get... Well, we can get quite a few of these. Let's get five of them. We could get six, technically. Yeah, let's get six. There. So that's going to tap out the wire at exactly 1,000. 
Yeah, let's prioritize that. Also, I want to set this door to automatic because I don't want any critters going back and forth. Yep, exactly a thousand. Perfect. And then this appears to be stuck. Why? Because there's no power. Well, how much power are we going to need here? Let's see. I think we might have to set up one more of those contraptions. You know the one. Yeah, okay. So here's the thing. Let's go ahead and get this thing over here. We're just going to blueprint this guy. And we crashed. That's great. Okay, I'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> 